beautiful today. Same as every other day to me. Ah, that's where you're wrong. What's different about today? Oh, it's Valentine's Day. Oh, I hate Valentine's <laughs> Day. Oh, I think it's sweet. It's a commercial bunch of junk, cheesy greeting cards, those weird cupids. I'll tell you, there's actually something creepy about flying babies with bows and arrows. So you and Zane don't celebrate it? Absolutely not. Are you kidding me? Valentine's Day glows. Oh, come on, guys. It's a special day. If you want to make it work, you've got to make the effort. Really? What are you and Lewis doing? Mm, something simple and elegant, just him and me. He's taking you fishing, isn't he? No! <laughs> he, he's not taking me fishing. Hey, you ready for our Valentine's Day fishing trip? Yeah, but what are the fresh air? The slimy fish, the blinding sun, the sheer boredom. Do we have to go? Wow, I'm going to pretend that you didn't say that. <laughs> Come on, Cleo, let's just, let's go, okay? Hey, check this out. Wow, nothing That's nothing. Check this. Okay, now that is just too cool. Uh, Kim, can I talk to you for a minute? Later, I'm busy. Hey, check it. No, you check it. No, you check it. No, you check it. No, you check it. I cannot believe you just did that. That was so embarrassing. What is going on? What are all these gifts for? It's Valentine's Day. So? That doesn't mean you can behave like this. What do you care? Because I have to? Because you're my little sister? Well, I'm not your little sister anymore, OK? Besides, you're just jealous. What did Lewis get you? A bag of bait? No, actually. I just want to find out who likes me the most. And I've got it down to two. Either Kyle or Corey. I can't believe you're making them compete for you. So, you can't tell me what to do. Tell her, Dad. Tell her what? What's that all about? Oh, Dad, I think it's time you have a talk. The talk? What talk? The talk. Well, that talk? Oh, I don't think so. Kim's not ready. Only yesterday she was finger-painting and riding on ponies. And she's my little girl. Not anymore. It appears you have some admirers. Oh, really? There, um, there is actually someone I'd like to ask out. Oh, someone. But today of all days, it might be a bit much. <laughs> ah, just keep walking. Hi. Hi. Um, are you, um, are you, um, sorry, are you doing anything? <laughs> what? Are you coming? I get around, training. Someone too busy? What is this? Hey, Ricky. I think I'm going to vomit. Come on, he's making a special effort. No one's saying to notice you. Not like this. What are these? These decorations for the cafe. Customers go crazy for this kind of thing. Right. Customers. Commercialization? What are you doing later? We are working late. It's going to be one of the busiest days of the year. But that's cool, isn't it? Ka ching Sure. Gee, you're so right about Valentine's Day. <laughs> How'd it go? Great. I think I really got through to her. OK. It was horrible. She already knew everything. You know, they have a class at school for that. Yeah. <laughs> it's not easy, you know. Your mother always used to handle things like this. Don't worry, Dad. You're doing a great job. Mm. Yeah, maybe. Kim, wait. I, I want you to promise me you're not to bring those boys over but again. Dad. Not without either me or Cleo around. Is that understood? And maybe I'd better just hold on to this for a while. <gasps> what? Dad, that's my phone. You can't do that. Just for today. It's for the best. You'll see. Okay. I understand. I know you're just looking out for me. And I promise I won't see those guys again. 
Really? You won't? Of course not. Anything for you. Okay. Well, that's great. I'll see you two later. I've got a meeting with a bigwig from the National Park Authority. Very important. What was all that about? What? You don't believe me? Oh, let me think. No. And I only said it to keep Dad happy. Kim, if Dad catches you with any of those boys... Well, maybe I should be living with Mum then. I'm old enough to do what I want and you can't stop me. Cleo, I know this is probably a little bit of a bad time, but if we want to catch the tide, we should... Lewis, you're right. This is a really bad time. What? You can't say that to my Mr. daughter. Mr Satori? Samantha Roberts, National Parks Authority. I was expecting someone more, um, like, doesn't matter. This won't take long, Mr. Satori. I'm sure you're very busy. <laughs> no, uh, call me Don. I understand you've applied for a new commercial fishing license. That's right. It's just a few formalities we have to go through. Did you want to check that? Well, it's, it, it, <laughs> it's my daughter's. I didn't think pink would be your colour. Um, so, uh, well, how shall we proceed, Ms. Roberts? Why don't we jump on board and get started? Somebody really wants to get a hold of your daughter. That's what I'm afraid of. Look, I'm sorry. I've got to pop out for a minute. It's a family crisis. I'll, I'll be right back. Sure. hanging around and asking for a date. Oh, maybe she's got some tips for you. Shouldn't you be out having a great time? I should be, but we live with fish and the last thing I want to do is sit in a boat all day waiting to see another one. Oh. You were right, Valentine's Day does blow. Mm. All right, I'll bite. What's up with you? Nothing. All right. So this boy I like. Here we go. No matter what, I can't seem to get his attention. You get the attention of, like, every guy in a 5K radius. That is not true. It is. I bet you only like him because it's a challenge. No, no, I like him because... I just do. I... Despite what you think, I'm not very good with guys. Who is? <laughs> The girls. Look, Claire, I, uh, I know Kim's hard to handle, but we need to think about us. Sorry, Lewis, have we missed the tide? Yep. But it's fine because we can still catch it if we head a few k's up the coast. You've thought a lot about this, haven't you? Yeah. It was a big day for us, relationship wise and angling wise. Okay, I'm sorry, I have to say this. Lewis, I hate fishing. You what? I do. I'm sorry. I mean, at first, it was a nice way to spend time together, but it's not romantic. I'm a mermaid. If I want a fish, I can just go grab one. Sorry. I'm really sorry. I'll help you. Clear, come 
here, quick. Is everything all right? No. Kim's gone. I thought you were looking after her. We had an argument. This has got me worried. Kim's phone. Why? Look, I keep getting text messages. 43 of them. Make that 44. They're from boys. Those nasty teenage boys. They're all still calling Kim. Don't worry, Dad. We'll find Kim. Won't we, Lewis? So you're overfishing, OK? Well, would you like a, would you like a smoothie? Kyle, that's so nice. Not now, Lewis. Strawberry is so my favourite flavour. Hey, I already bought you a smoothie. So you did. Kim? What is going on? Dude, why would you buy her a smoothie? I already got her one. Dude, it's empty. Dad's been looking everywhere for you and he's really worried. Well, he doesn't need to be. Kim, if you want to have a boyfriend, that's fine. I really don't care. But do the right thing and make it one boy and maybe invite him round to meet Dad first. Get it through your head. I don't need your help. If these boys weren't so desperate to get a girlfriend in the first place, none of this would have happened. Desperate? What are you saying? That's the only reason anyone would want to be with me. No, of course not, Kim. But look at them. Hey, is it my turn for a kiss? You already had to go. Just leave me alone. You're not my mother. Oh, Kim. Claire, we're still in Not now. Leave me alone. I'm telling Dad. spend some time together. Really? Where do you want to go? Oh, I can't go anywhere. I'm working two shifts, but I thought we could have some fun here. I need to blow up as many of these as possible. The customers love them. You want me to blow up balloons? Yeah. OK. All we have is Cleo's clothes, and I'm so sorry. Would you like a, a hot cup of tea? Or well, dry cleaning? I, could I don't cleaning. want you to do anything. Did you push me off the side on purpose? No, it was an accident. Dad. It could happen to anybody. But it didn't. It happened to me on your boat. Well, uh, look, um, girls, why don't you two go upstairs? What's going to happen, Dad? Oh, I don't know, Cleo. Are you going to lose your licence? <laughs> Dad, I'm so sorry. This is all my fault. Oh, don't be silly. No, if, if, if it's anyone's fault, it's mine. I was too busy. You, you, you just wanted to talk to me. You're growing up. I'm sorry. I've, I've had such a hard time accepting that. And I'm sorry, Cleo, for leaving you to... Sort everything out. All this time I've been treating you like you're a, a little girl. And you're not. You're a young woman. You're a beautiful, amazing, intelligent, 
very cheeky young woman. And I'm so proud of you. That's the most beautiful thing I think I've ever heard. You totally ruined my Valentine's Day. And you wrecked mine, Kim. I'm sorry. That was such a pain. Yeah, you were. And so were you. Okay, maybe I was a bit too. But why do it? Why I try to get attention from all those boys? I guess I just wanted some excitement. When you started dating, you were always hanging out with your friends. Like you were hiding some big secret or something. I guess I just felt left behind. When Mum left, it was even worse. I'm sorry. I should have been there for you. So who's it gonna be? Carl or Corey? Oh, I don't know. They're both a bit boring, really. But there's this one guy. He's really cute, though. Timothy Wilkins. He's even started shaving his chin. Oh, well, you should invite him over yeah. there. But ask Dad first. I was swimming and this jellyfish just appeared in front of me. No kidding, a jellyfish? Yeah, at least I think it was a jellyfish. It was, it was, I, I think, shaped like a heart. I've never seen anything like it. Well, the sea is full of amazing things. Yeah, I can't wait to look it up in the net. Actually, I think I've heard of it. Really? Yeah, yeah, it's, it's a very rare species and it only comes out one day a year on Valentine's Day. You're having me on, right? Hey, look, you're the one that saw it. After all, it's Valentine's Day, and help me out here. Oh, we were just talking about how we've been throwing ourselves into our work lately. You know, compensating. For having no romance in our lives. Can I tempt you to a little wine? Sure. Night is young. <laughs> Sorry about the balloons. It's okay. I should have known none of this was your star. I may hate Valentine's Day, but it doesn't mean I don't want to spend time with you. Yeah, I get that. You know, lately, I feel like we've just been cruising, taking each other for granted. And, and I want us to be... Yeah. Me too. That's why I've arranged this. <laughs> what are you doing? We're going to do something romantic. And you're going to enjoy it. I can try. Don't worry, Dad. You look great. <clears throat> I was just making sure the mirror's straight. 
bad. I can't ignore what happened before with Sam. I and mean, what were you thinking? <laughs> All right, it's true. Since your mum left, I've only worried about you kids and work. That's it. I haven't given a second thought to, you know, <laughs> romance. With Sam? Well, yeah. Who you just met? Well, we're both adults. Yeah, but Dad, you're acting like teenagers. I mean, what impression are you giving Kim? You're right. Mm, where are we going to go out dancing? Oh, I should call and cancel. Wait. Do you really like her? I, I don't know. But I'd like to find out more. Well, then who am I to stand in your way? Maybe you can help me. <laughs> We're going to go dancing. It's been years. If I'm leading, do I go to the left or the right? Come here. Now, start with your left. The other left. It's all coming back. 